My name is Marcin Fabiański. I spent years wandering place to place. Phenomena are preceded by the mind, ruled by the mind, made of the mind. If you speak or act with a corrupted mind, then suffering follows you as the wheel of the cart, the track of the ox that pulls it. If you speak or act with a calm, bright mind, then happiness follows you like a shadow that never leaves. I have read these words of Buddha hundreds of times, but I have not listened to them. I did not listen to Socrates, who wondered that people wanted to find happiness in journeys, although they take themselves with them. I studied philosophy in Poland and in England, spent two years in Asian monasteries. In the end, I reached out to the roots of philosophy, understood as the medicine of the soul and the therapy of superstitions. I decided to set up a school of philosophy, similar to ancient schools, to create a place where everyone can learn philosophical life and free oneself from suffering. Just here, near the town of Trevin and Lazio. To achieve lasting joy of life, one must learn to limit ego's desires, develop morality, enter into meditation states which require many hours of subtle work with the mind, make an effort to understand the laws of nature. Parco Naturale dei Monti Simbruini is an ideal place for a school of philosophy, where one can study all those things. Here one finds a contemplative nature, the caves where the saints meditated for 2000 years, the proximity of Rome, the spiritual and intellectual capital of the ancient world. Here I found not only a wonderful nature, but also open people who sympathized with my idea. At the Appenine School of Living Philosophy, we do philosophy as it was done before it got corrupted by theoreticians. We do this through meditation, contemplation, studying the works of ancient masters, expeditions into nature, therapeutic conversations and inquiry. The starting point is the philosophical method self-of, based on the analysis of experience according to the model of the three dramaturgies of the self. Our brain does not react to regular stimuli. It needs something more complex, a story. A healthy story can liberate the mind from mental irritations. This is why it's worth to know the rules of narrative dramaturgy, which takes place in our imagination. Words, stories, scenarios for the future. It is also worthwhile learning morphic dramaturgy, which deals with the world of objects around us. But what helps most is exploring meditative submorphic dramaturgy of the subtle sensation within the process of life, before the brain has frozen it into a collection of objects. Each of these dramaturgies of self requires specific means of philosophical action. More about it in films that follow. We undertake philosophical practice, not just for ourselves, but also for next generation and the whole planet which is devastated by human greed and stupidity. The reward is ataraxia, a psychophysical state of attuning to nature beyond all irritation and non-excessive harmonious life.